Hey guys, my name is James Simpson. I'm a product manager here at Evolve MEP, and today I'll be showing the spooling features of Evolve Mechanical. I know I personally have spent many hours defining and creating spools, and these tools now allow us to automate that process. First, I will show our Define Spool Run feature. To use, simply click the command and enter your starting spool name. You can either enter this manually or use one of the many parameters we provide. Notice you can generate sheets during this process as well. However, I'm going to forego this to demonstrate later. Next, click your starting and stopping elements for your first spool, and you'll now see this reflected in the view. With the first spool defined, we now only need to select our stopping elements for our subsequent spools. Once complete, click finish. As you can see, the spooling nomenclature was maintained across all spools. Next, I will show our auto spool feature. To use, click auto spool on the ribbon and define your desired maximum spool dimensions. Notice you can dictate weight as well. Click your starting element and a direction to evaluate in, and you'll notice five spools are defined based on those parameters. As with spool run, you are prompted to enter your starting name. Finally, I will show our spool manager. Inside, you will see spools within the project, as well as information on each, such as their level and status. You have many options here, including renaming, PCF export, and generating sheets. Note that Evolve spool sheets are Plan Grid and BIM 360 compatible, and also include views, schedules, annotation, and dimensions. However, the sheet and annotation are customizable to your preferences within the settings dialog. If you'd like to learn more about these features as well as the many other Evolve offers, please reach out on our website.